So today I was uh, censored again on Facebook. Uh, recently a group of doctors uh, got together to uh, speak about uh, a perspective that people aren't hearing much about, particularly in the mainstream media, regarding hydroxychloroquine. And their video, the video that they made uh, together was massively censored across all social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube, uh, as well as uh, even the hosting, uh, the place that hosts their website took their website down. I mean, this is just, this is bizarre. Um, and so they got together the next day and made another video. And I've seen both videos in, uh, in their totality. And the second video, I decided when I saw it, as soon as I saw it on Facebook, or rather YouTube, to download it right away because uh, I, I thought it would be uh, deleted. As it turns out, it isn't deleted. It's still at least in one place on uh, YouTube, and I'll give that link. So I uploaded it myself to my Facebook site, and it was there for a day, and then it was censored, deleted. And so I'll just show the messages that I received. Um, okay, this is the a screen capture of the initial image, including a shot from the video. And as you can see on the bottom right, there were 875 shares in like less than 24 hours. I looked at another video that I put up, which is actually a compilation of two of the doctors from the first video that was widely censored, who are very, very rational, making great uh, logical points based on fact and reason and science. And so I shared that, and I don't know how long that's going to stay up. Get out of here, Bobby. F fruit flights. <laughs> long story. Um, little jerk. Uh, anyway, the uh, uh, video with the two doctors from the uh, first uh, first video that was put up is still on my Facebook site, but we'll see. It might be gone by now. I don't know. But at any rate, uh, that had 80 uh, shares, and it had uh, 2,400 views. Because so, I couldn't see the views anymore on this, and I hadn't checked them uh, since the prior day. And this one having 875, that would mean that the views were well over uh, 20,000. And the way shares work when they start getting popular just like it just keeps branching out and branching out so this could have this could have potentially gone viral um, but at least it still exists last I checked on YouTube and I'll put a put a link to that okay so here is the comment that I included with the video that's that'll explain the situation so I'll just read some of my initial comment I basically filled in on the first two paragraphs uh, the third paragraph, these doctors have nothing to gain and everything to lose by speaking out as they are, which tells me they are totally sincere. The problem is that President Trump spoke favorably of hydroxychloroquine months ago after being told about it by a medical expert and was attacked for it in the media and by politicians and his enemies in general. But Trump was also completely sincere in his belief in the drug because he took the damn stuff himself. If it turns out that these doctors are right, then it will mean that patients were prevented, in many cases for political reasons, from using a drug which had the potential to prevent them from getting the CCP virus and could have prevented huge numbers of deaths when given in early stages after getting the CCP virus. This would be a huge scandal and even worse for some, it would show that Trump was right. And in an election year with such an important issue, Trump's super aggressive enemies will do anything they can to prevent this from happening. Watch and judge for yourselves. My gosh, judge for yourselves. That seems to be a censorable sin today, doesn't it? 
So here we are having been censored once more on Facebook. I've done a video in the past where I've been shut out of Facebook and censored on Facebook, but Facebook, Zuckerberg just said the other day in front of Congress, they don't, fa they don't censor anyone, except when they send you a notification like this saying, your post goes against our community standards, so only you can see it. All right, so I clicked that, and they said, your post goes against our community standards on misinformation that could cause physical harm. What a bad guy. No one else can see your po post, in case you didn't get that message the first time. We encourage free expression, ha, 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 as long as it adheres to their specific uh, ideological and political motivations and intentions. We encourage free expression, but don't allow false information. False information. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about where they get their true information. We don't allow false information about COVID-19 that could contribute to physical harm. So they must have a source of true information, right? that wouldn't contribute to physical harm. Next one. We don't allow false information that could cause physical harm. In some cases, this includes information that recognized health organizations say could mislead people about how to cure or prevent a disease, or that could discourage people from seeking medical treatment. Get reliable, up-to-date information about the coronavirus from the World Health Organization. So, what about this World Health Organization? There are a number of world organizations. The World Health Organization, the World Trade Organization, the United Nations, and even the International Olympic Committee. And they're all part of the globalist movement. Okay, the next directive card. What have you for me, comrades? What would you like to do? As your post goes against our community standards on misinformation that could cause physical harm, no one else can see it. So, do I accept the decision? No one else can see your post and you'll no longer be able to request a review request a review. Or I can disagree with the decision and it says we use your feedback to make improvements on future decisions. So as you can see with this uh, screen capture, I disagreed with the decision and clicked continue. <laughs> We usually offer the chance to request a review and follow up if we got decisions wrong. We have fewer reviewers available at the moment because of the coronavirus outbreak. We're trying hard to pri prioritize reviewing content with the most potential for harm. The most potential for harm. They're so concerned about our safety and so concerned about us possibly harming ourselves with our own judgment and discernment. This means we may not be able to follow up with you, but your feedback will help us do better in the future. <laughs> Thank you for your understanding. Okay, let's look now at the World Health Organization. Um, it's currently headed by someone who is a very uh, questionable individual, to say the least. His name is Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. This Adhanom is um, not a medical doctor, and he is a member of a Marxist-Leninist, i.e. communist, Ethiopian political party. This This party is known as the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front, and he was the health and foreign minister between 2005 and 2016. Um, and this 
political organization, this political liberation front, is um, listed in the global terrorism database as well. <clears throat> so I've referred to him as a uh, Marxist uh, numerous times, and that's why. And again, you can check it out for yourselves. And he is also not a medical doctor, the head of the World Health Organization, the first to not be a medical doctor. Uh, he holds a doctorate in philosophy in community health. Uh, philosophy in community health. And he was supported heavily and pushed by the Chinese Communist regime uh, to become the head of the World Health Organization in 2017. So the Chinese Communist regime pushed for this communist, Marxist, Leninist to become the head of the World Health Organization. You think they're buds? I'd say so. Tedros, one of the favors that we know of, uh, he actually helped the Chinese regime hide uh, the Chinese coronavirus outbreak. Now, whether or not this was knowing and intentional is under debate and refuted and under investigation, as far as I can understand, by the United States government. So, on January 14th, uh, which was months, over two months after um, it's believed that the first case of the virus, uh, and there are some who say it was even earlier in October, uh, was, was found in China on November 17th of 2019. Um, the World Health Organization was parroting, repeating the Chinese regime's claim that there was, quote, no clear evidence of human to human transition. Meanwhile, the disease was spreading all over the place in Wuhan, so the Chinese Communist regime knew very well what was going on. They were pre preventing flights from Wuhan, China, to the rest of China, but allowing those flights to spread the virus all over the world. No mistake there. No mistake there. Now, whether or not the virus was intentionally created as a biological weapon, We'll, we'll find out. Some say no, whatever. At the very least, it was something that mistakenly ex is escaped the, uh, the lab in Wuhan and started to spread and they knew about it and they were going to be hammered and their economy was already seriously suffering um, in no small part due to uh, some of the steps that uh, Trump has taken against them. Um, in numerous ways with some of our allies and trade and Huawei and um, tariffs and, and all kinds of things in a very systematic and brilliant multi-tiered, multi-directional effort to weaken the Chinese Communist regime and the globalist movement. The swamp is not just in the US and DC, it's global. And so at any rate, um, this is uh, being investigated, all of these things, from what I understand, and uh, hopefully we'll get answers. But at the very least, the Chinese regime, who was weakened and then had this thing hitting them, decided, you know what? Blanket. Forget it. F it. We're going to let this spread around the world. They intentionally did it. And while they were doing it, they were having groups of Chinese people, I don't want to go on too much of a tangent, but they had an organized effort internationally to buy up PPE, protective equipment, and various things that were needed to protect and deal with the CCP virus, and had them sent en masse to China, so that when the virus was being spread around the world, unknown to the rest of the world, when it hit them, they would be short of this equipment and then China would come to the rescue which they tried to uh, 
present themselves as being the, the heroes when they gave a little bit of it away to some countries initially and then started overcharging other countries and a large percentage of it. You can look at reports of this as well. Uh, was faulty and useless. So they really, really intentionally and viciously screwed over the whole world. They caused, directly caused, all of these deaths and all of this economic devastation and everything else connected to it. And the World Health Organization that Facebook says is our gold standard and if you all y'all don't follow what we say the WHO says what we say the World Health Organization says which is all that we permit we're taking your stuff down so this organization that's run by a communist who was put into place through the, the pressure and lobbying of the Chinese communist regime and has lied knowingly or unknowingly on behalf of the Chinese regime making people think that this virus was not spreading when it was spreading these are the required overseers and dictators as to what the entire Facebook platform will allow globally to be said about this virus. In the first video, I saw the first video, there was one doctor from Africa who said she treated over 350 patients uh, with the CCP, who had the CCP virus. One of them was even 92 years old, very high risk. And others, she said, had uh, asthma and all, all kinds of other conditions that really complicate and make people more vulnerable and she didn't have one death. She has, she, she did go too far in a couple of things she said but if you look at the totality of what all of the doctors said, very rational, very stable, um, very logical commentary, science-based, other than a cup, just a couple of things she said it was very helpful information that, that, that would be practically useful to people going through, get away, going through this horrific global situation that, that everyone's been enduring. But the media found that she has some beliefs. I, I, I don't care. I don't care about these things. Now, if she had said something that was like, whoa, that's connected to her belief and she's like, what she said specifically is being determined by these odd, unique beliefs, rather than saying, I've had 350 patients, these are th these are pr practical, factual things that have gone through, and this is and all straight down the line medical talk. Then I'd be concerned, but she wasn't. She was being st straight down the line, but went too far a couple of times. Okay, so I logged out after I saw that the the video was banned. I I went and I I, I screen captured everything through the process as I showed, and I put up a photo album of all those photos and an explanation to reveal the truth about cens the censorship. And about an hour or so, I logged back into Facebook and boing, the same message pops up before I can even look at anything, telling me that my video had been, ba had been banned. So I thought, okay, dummies, yo, okay, I'll go through this again. So I clicked through all of the steps, which you've seen, I talked through them earlier. But then I got to the one where it asked me whether I would accept their censorship. And so I decided to use my uh, phone to do a video um, on my, my uh, computer screen to show 
going through the rest of that process. And uh, here it is. The first time I had to go through this, they had an option. What, what would you like to do? Your post is against community standards, blah, blah, blah. Accept decision. Last time, of course, what else makes sense? There was an option, disagree with decision. Then I could click continue. This time, you can see, I think you can see here that there's, this is, well, I'll just click this, right? I'll just, if you can hear my mouse clicking, right? I'll click this and th there's no option to continue. So the only way they're showing me that I can get out of this window is only if I accept, let's see, accept, yep, now I can continue. If I don't accept, oh, I hope I can unclick that. No, I can't, <laughs> no, once, once you click, you can never turn back. These bastards, this is, some people will understand this, some people won't. In authoritarian, Marxist, communist, socialist thought regimes, this is the mentality. You agree or you, 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 are, not, you are not allowed, you are not permitted, maybe you will be persecuted. You, you must agree, agree with our control of you. So now I'm hoping that I can actually click this little X here. Actually, I'm going to try to go back. This was this is the same one of the same windows from earlier um, in the photo album, and then I'll continue forward. And hopefully, the continue uh, the agree button will no longer be clicked. Okay, accept. Okay, so that that worked. Okay, so I no longer accept the decision, so they won't have that on record now. I'm hoping that I can click out of here because there was a whole technical thing and I made a video about it before in the past where just in the last week before the Canadian federal election I had been posting my opinions and criticism of uh, Justin Einstein Trudeau um, and there was a fair amount of uh, response and activity to my posts and then um, suddenly about a week before um, the election, I was locked out of my account and I couldn't sign in. I put a video about that. So I'm just wondering if something strange will happen if I go to just close the window and not obey their, their procedure and try to escape it. I hope so. But regardless, regardless, there's no option to reject to not accept their decision to censor me. Okay, let's see if this works. All right, so I click this and I'm out of it and hopefully something strange won't happen that prevents me from logging in next time or whatever. So we'll see, I'll go to my page. Okay. Okay, so far so good. So there you have it. Facebook, which allows you to accept their censorship or accept their censorship, uh, has said that the all Facebook users can only share information that has been um, given the okay by the World Health Organization, which is led by uh, Marxist Leninist communist and who was lobbied for to be put into place by the Chinese communist regime so a communist regime pushed to have a communist heading the World Health Organization and that organization spread information that the Chinese communist regime wanted to be spread around the world that was deceiving the entire world into believing that there was no human to human contact. 
and that there was no need to fear this virus while the Chinese communist regime knew there was human to human contact and knew it was spreading around the world because they were allowing flights to leave China but preventing flights from the epicenter Wuhan into the rest of China while collecting all of the protective equipment that they could get their hands on around the world. So this World Health Organization, there are other officials there as well, including one uh, Canadian. Um, wow, and one of our one of the Canadian uh, officials in the uh, Trudeau regime uh, is also part of the World Health Organization. But there was also another Canadian the top. World Health Organization official who was praising the Chinese regime and their handling of the coronavirus early on and telling them that, saying that if he got the CCP virus, he calls it COVID, of course, he would go to China to get treated because they're the best at that as well. They're the best at treating it and they're the best at, at uh, dealing with the virus and handling it and that the world should learn from them. And uh, there was a video where he was being interviewed by someone from Hong Kong who asked about Taiwan and then he just <laughs> just hung up the call. Anyway, she called him back and then he looked like an absolute super deceptive prick, to be honest. And uh, he's disappeared from view since that video went viral. That organization seems to be uh, commonly in favor of the Chinese Communist regime. And people on Facebook are only allowed to hear what that World Health Organization says is allowed to be spread. Well, they don't say it's allowed to be spread or not, but Facebook says that whatever the World Health Organization says, that's all you can talk about on Facebook. So, and, you know, there's censorship on the other social media platforms as well. You can think about this and come to your own conclusions. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe. And yes, click the notification bell. And if you would like to donate to support the channel, there's a couple of links below. And I will also include the link to the version of the video, which last I checked was still on YouTube. There removing these things all over the place because, well, you're only allowed to know what they want you to know. Your judgment and discernment are not reliable. So, anyway, use your judgment and your discernment and I'm sure you will do well and stay healthy and I wish everyone well and I'll be making more videos soon. There's a lot to say about a lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff keeps happening. Take good care. Bye-bye.